Hey everybody, Jason at RGB to go. I wanted to take a moment and wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and uh, Happy New Year. Um, I wanted to reaffirm that we're very hard at work, not only improving our current do it to go controllers, um, but also developing like crazy, trying to get our new four port controllers out and ready shortly. Uh, hopefully you should hear some news about those soon. We're very excited about it. The purpose of today's video, real quick, is to talk about um, the the updates that I've done to the Duo to Go controller. Uh, these specifically, um, we've rearranged things just a little bit. You can tell uh, it looks a little different. The traces are a bit widened, just just to you know, you know. Hopefully, let it run a little more efficiently. Uh, one of the biggest concerns I had with the board was this power input connector. I know uh, David Henry had mentioned that, uh, at least in the the later production runs of the Duo boards, uh, these connectors were really tight with a 16 gauge ferrule. Um, this is a much bigger connector. It can support actually technically up to 12 gauge, so you should have no trouble at all with it with a 16 gauge wire in there. Hopefully that should uh, alleviate some of the problems people were having with that. Another thing that I'm very proud of is um, we've added a, a MOSFET and a red LED to denote uh, when you've reversed polarity. Um, it's, it's happened enough times that I wanted to address it. Um, Everybody's had one of those moments where you're, you're, you're doing too many things at once, you're not thinking, uh, you accidentally plug power in the wrong way, and before you know it, you've lost your controller. Uh, I've done it, so I, I'm sure people out there have done it as well. Uh, so just we've added a bit more uh, protection to this circuit so that if you were to plug it in backwards, not only will it not cause damage, it'll alert you to that. And so I wanted to just uh, to, to go through this and, and, and show you, you know, what happens to everybody. But uh, you're, you're doing too many things at once. You, you're talking or you're, you're looking at something else as you're trying to get this plugged in. You plug the negative and positive in the wrong ports. And you're not paying too much attention. You plug in your lights. Normally when you plug in power is when you, you hear that little pop and sizzle of the, uh, you know, the capacitor blowing and the voltage regulator being damaged. But now, as I add power now, all we get is a, uh, a red status LED um, alerting you that you were a bonehead. Um, again, everybody's a bonehead now and then. Um, not a good idea to, to leave it like this, but uh, for the just for argument, I just want to show that we are getting no voltage, or very minimal voltage, two, two millivolts through the light ports, um, and we are getting 12 reversed through the input connectors so again not a good idea to leave it like that forever when this does if this does happen to you remove power um, and make sure you wait for that red led to go out um, if you do not uh, the capacitor in the uh, power supply is still providing 12 volts to that line whether or not it's plugged in so once that light is to fade then you can be assured that the capacitor of the power supply is no longer um, trying to supplement the voltage on that line. So now that the power lights out, we're going to the air lights out, we're going to plug this in the proper way. And just swapping those back around. This is a much beefier connection than the other ones, but always a good idea when you're applying torque to anything on a PCB. Just give it a little support with your finger to make sure you don't twist that thing 
off of its solder point. Again, it's, it's, it's on there pretty good. It's, it's soldered pretty well, but you know, you'd be surprised. It doesn't take much torque to disrupt that. All right, so now that we've got everything tightened down, we will reintroduce power. And as you can see, the controller power is up. The lights turn on, no damage done. Open up WLED real quick here, just to uh, confirm that everything is working as it should. Just changing some colors, green, blue, red. Throw an effect on there. Everything working great. So that's the new revision 1.5 of the Duo to Go controller. It's, it's been in the works for a while. Uh, we've been constantly developing since since our uh, the controller's release last March. So uh, again, it's anytime I can add some functionality that can make your lives easier, such in this case, you know accidentally switching the polarity and possibly damaging your board, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, if, there, if there's anything you can think of in the future that you want to see in a future revision, feel free to reach out to me. I'm, I'm, I try to be very receptive to any and all ideas. Um, and, and just keep them coming, because currently I'm only developing this board based on my needs and the needs of my those that are helping me. So once I get more and more input from people about what they want to see, who knows where this board can go. So, anyway, I don't want to take too much of your time. I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season. I hope have a happy new year. And look forward to next year. We're going to be releasing videos soon uh, to go over my new four port controller. And that's very exciting. Too much for a five minute video, but, but keep an eye out. And we'll, we'll talk about that shortly. But uh, again, happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas.